Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to the 2015-2016 Bristol Community College Athletics Banquet. Uh, please continue to eat, continue to, to grab food out from the back. Um, but we are going to continue on with the program. Uh, there's plenty of food back there, desserts, so please continue to help yourself. As I say every year, uh, today this event gives us a nice opportunity to uh, recognize and, and reflect on all the hard work and accomplishments of our student athletes and coaches over the past year. Um, and, and again, we continue to see a lot of those accomplishments here at Bristol Community College um, within our athletic department. There are a few people I'd like to thank before we uh, head, move on the program. Uh, first, President Sprague, who was here earlier for his continuous support of athletics here at the college. Uh, Vice President Steve Ozug, uh, who doesn't miss too many games uh, throughout the season. Ginny Lehman for her time and efforts uh, spending with our student athletes on the academic side and advising them in their classes. Uh, Andre Martinez, who's not here tonight, but um, anything that I can't do, he. He can, and uh, he's, he's a big part of, of what we get done on a day-to-day -day basis in the athletic department. Uh, and, and finally, our, our student athletes and our coaches, again, for, for the effort uh, that you guys put in on, on a yearly basis. Um, the commitment and the effort that's required to uh, have a successful program. Um, one, just to put a team out there, and then to put a team out there that, that can compete, um, and, and to stay together, and, and accomplish what some of our programs have been able to accomplish. Um, it, takes, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, and we appreciate what you guys do and girls do for this uh, athletics program. Some of those accomplishments uh, that we've had, I'd just like to recognize some of those before we get into the individual team awards, um, are the all region team uh, selections. So if, if you hear your name, uh, please just, just stand uh, in place. First team all regions, John DePina, men's soccer. <laughs> Jarrell Gomes, men's basketball. <laughs> Yuri Mapira, men's soccer. <laughs> Jennifer Silva. Women's soccer. <laughs> Philippe Silva, men's soccer. <laughs> Second team all region, Kelsey Betancourt, women's soccer. <laughs> Josh Cardozo, men's soccer. <laughs> Bryce Marshall, men's soccer. Joshua Nelson, men's basketball. <laughs> Taylor Soares, women's soccer. Andrew Waters, men's soccer. <laughs> Honorable mention, Armani Baker, men's basketball. <laughs> Jeremiah. Ephraim, men's basketball. <laughs> Congratulations on your sele selections. <laughs> the uh, first program I'd like to call up uh, is a women's soccer program and head coach David Barraby. Thank you, Derek. Uh, in case anybody doesn't know who I am, my name is David Barraby, and uh, I'm in my fourth season as being the head coach for the, for the women's soccer team. Uh, I would like to say that my assistant coach, Kim, could not make it tonight. She, uh, 
she is working and she uh, sends her congratulations to the team. Um, the girls, you know, they, we had a good season. They work really hard. I am very proud of my team. I know I don't have a lot of the members here because a lot of them either work and can't get out. Um, but we did have uh, the, best, uh, the best season that this school has ever had this season. And uh, it has, yeah, so give yourselves a round of applause, ladies. We came in third in our division. Um, we've scored the most goals, which is 12, which is a school record as, as well. Um, we had the three girls named to a, as an all-region player. Uh, we've already heard them, but I'm gonna say it again because they deserve it. Jen Silver, Taylor Saws, and Kelsey Belton-Court. Congratulations, ladies. I just would like to say that uh, for three years prior to me coming as, or becoming the head coach of the team, uh, you know, and I say this every year because it was really funny when I talked to Derek and such and I tried to get us some history of the, of the team prior, like I said, for the three years. Um, when he told me that the, the team has never uh, won a game and that we actually never scored a goal, I kind of was like, wow. Um, so I'm kind of proud of where we've been. Um, we, we've had some goals. We wanted to field a full team. We wanted to score goals and win games and, and we're doing that. And we're all doing that too with, with good sportsmanship and the girls. I was just talking to some of my players. Um, we have only had one card this season, um, which is, uh, which actually I didn't think deserved to be a card, but in order to get penalized or to, if anybody's, I don't know how many cards the guys get on the men's team, hopefully not too many at all. But, um, you know, as far as sportsmanship and really good role playing um, for my girls, they really did represent BCC very well on the field and off the field as many of them work, and we have some mothers, which we have single parents, and um, you know, we've made it all work, so I'm very proud of the girls. Uh, I have um, our captain, and, and Kelsey Betancourt is one of our captains. Uh, Kelsey, why don't you come on up here? She is a, a sophomore, she is a very strong player. She was our goalkeeper, and uh, sometimes I felt bad for Kelsey only because she was like a punching bag. Uh, being in goal when some of the teams were just coming at us and uh, she just w was here for for two years and I think she deserves a lot of credit because many of our girls or many of our athletes and students here at BCC sometimes come in, they may uh, transfer out, they may decide they want to take another path in their life and they don't stick with the program, but Kelsey had started with us, she's made almost every practice she could and she also works, she's a good student and she's uh, going to graduate with a degree, and she also played soccer for two years. So, Kelsey, should be very proud. And mom's over there. Uh, I'm going to miss you, Kelsey. I don't know what we're going to do for goalkeeper next year, but I'm sure we will we'll find somebody. And I wish you the best in your future. Um, I'd like to bring up also um, MVP, which is... The, uh, another captain of the team, Jen Silva. Jen, if you could come on up. Jen, Jen has uh, made history. She scored five goals this season. She is, currently holds the school record. And she really works hard, and, and, if, and you should see her frustration. She would make me laugh sometimes when she's on the field because she'd be so intense out there, and she did a great job in keeping the team together. And like I said, congratulations, Jen, for, for scoring all those goals. Uh, she gets our MVP award to Jen. Our other captain, Taylor Soares, uh, she can't be with us tonight. She is uh, working, but she is also a player that uh, held the back line for me. She was really strong, and uh, off the field, she was sweet as can be. She was the nicest girl, and she would... Uh, you know, you, you would never think that on the field she was just really strong. She held our defense and um, she did a great job. So with that, and she is not here, but she gets our coach's award um, to Captain Taylor Saw. So nice round of applause for Taylor. <laughs> the other members of the team who are here, I would like to have them come on up if they could. Um, you know, it's funny because if you know me, a lot of times I, I use uh, nicknames for my girls and I don't really know their real name. Um, so this girl here, uh, Marissa Fonseca, I used to call her Fonzie. Uh, nice round of applause, Marissa was a great defensive person. 
She says she's coming back next year. And she was a pleasure to, uh, to have on the team. So, Marissa, thank you. I'll, I'll give you these. Yeah, come on up. Kelsey. Yeah, we're close. Taylor Soares is not here. Uh, Ashley Soares. Actually, Ashley, come on up. Ashley, actually, she wasn't sure if she was going to play or not. She thought it was really demanding and such, but we try to work with all of us students. We know they work and they got studies, which is important. Um, but Ashley uh, was a great uh, participant to the team. I'm glad you came out. You really did a great job, so thank you. All my other girls are not here. They are working on what have you, so I, I do congratulate them. Last, what I'd like to say is I would like to uh, thank Mr. Jack Sprager, Steve Ozug, and of course Derek Viveris and, and everybody supporting our women's soccer program. We look forward to our next season, and I wish all of my girls uh, much success and happiness in the future, and thank you. Thank you, Coach. Um, and now I'd like to call up men's soccer uh, head coach, Joe Gill. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Hello. Uh, my name is Joe Gill. I'm the, uh, the men's soccer coach. I've been here for like a year and a half. Uh, I've never really done two years. I got hired mid-season uh, last year. And my number one goal when I took over was to, uh, I live in New Bedford, and uh, everyone keeps saying, we never heard about the soccer team. Get a soccer team over there, and I kept saying, yeah, we do. Uh, but my goal was to basically put the soccer program uh, back on the map, so to speak, because they've been around since 2008. So, with my big mouth, I started driving Derek crazy, saying we need this, we need that, and whatnot. And I was fortunate enough that Derek was able to go out and recruit a number of kids for me that I didn't have access to at the time because I hadn't been hired at the time. Uh, so what we've been trying to do is, for the most part, and my number one goal is to make the soccer program the number one program, junior college division three program in New England. And we're getting there, we're close. We nearly had a shot at it this year. We uh, ended up finishing nine, five and one overall. Last year, to put it in perspective, we were five and eight. Uh, we made the uh, regional uh, playoffs. We finished second in the conference. The downfall, our Achilles heel is uh, Bunker Hill Community College. Um, and I believe, I feel you, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, last year when we played them, uh, we pretty much, we showed up, we played them, we got beat. Uh, this year we showed up, the kids, really put out a tremendous effort. We ended up losing two to one and one to nothing to them. Now that may not seem like much till you compare, they made it to the national finals. So we're this close. Uh, we've got a great bunch of kids. We started the season with 25 on the roster. We finished with 24. Most of them are working, but I've got five here tonight uh, that I'm very, very happy for. They were a great bunch of young guys to work with. Uh, I hope they enjoyed playing for me. Uh, we wish them the best of luck, the ones, the, the sophomores that are moving on to bigger and better things. Uh, so without further ado, what I'd like to do is call up the five guys that are here. Each one of them, for the most part, has either been selected as an all-regional player or they made the honor roll, which to me is a tremendous impact, you know, based upon the influx from the parents as well as their uh, hard work in the classroom as well as the soccer field. So uh, I'd like to call the five guys up. Chris Dixon. Cody DeCruz, Philippe Silva, John DePina, and Matthew Vieira.
the, uh, the MVP is not here. He's on his way. I was told he'd be here between 7 and 7.30. Unfortunately, he's working. His name's Yuri Maypire. Uh, just to give you a quick background about him, uh, he was a two-year starter for us. He blew his knee out two years ago, took a year off, came back. Uh, he was our leading scorer. Uh, he was our top assist player. He pretty much was the quarterback on our team. We ran most of our offense through him. Uh, he's a tremendous young man uh, and a pure pleasure to coach. And hopefully he'll be here to pick up his most valuable player award. And finally, the uh, coaches award. Uh, this young man is probably my best recruiter. Uh, every time he knows, runs into somebody in New Bedford or runs into someone that's at BCC that played soccer, he'll go, coach, I got a name for you. Here's a phone number, call him. Uh, we've probably uh, contacted about 25 guys, Matt, between the last two years. He's a young man. He played two years for us. Uh, he played two, uh, last year as a defensive midfielder. This year he was strictly a defender. He's also played goalie. He'll play any position that I've ever asked him to do. He's the ultimate team player. He's an Army vet. Uh, he did two tours in, Af uh, in uh, Iraq. Afghanistan. I'm sorry, Afghanistan. Uh, He's just a true. He's just he's just a fantastic young man that has a tr unlimited potential, and I'm really I hope he enjoyed playing for me as much as I enjoyed coaching him. So the uh, coaches award goes to uh, Matt Fiera. And in, and in closing, I'd just like to thank the, the entire athletic department, Derek, Andre, uh, Virginia. You know, I spent many, a number of hours with her trying to keep kids eligible, and Steve. And on behalf of uh, my assistant, Peter, who just was here, but he plays in an over-30 league. Uh, he had a game tonight, so uh, I'd like to thank him as well. And um, on behalf of the entire, uh, all the kids on the team, we'd like to thank the athletic department for all they've done for us. Thank you. Next, uh, we'll have men's basketball uh, head coach, Rob Delalue. I was thinking, maybe. You can stay there. All right. Um, can you hear me? All right. <laughs> uh, a couple of things before I begin, and actually to get a little serious. Um, just a couple of, uh, about two weeks ago, uh, we lost a very dear friend to us in our program. Um, I've been here now nine, this is gonna be my ninth season. And um, Milton Clement was our, one of our biggest fans, probably at every single, not every single one of our games, but I mean, he dedicated his time, loved our guys. Um, I took over for him at the Multicultural Student Center when he retired. Um, and I wanted to kind of do a moment of silence just in memory of Milton. Um, if we can just please just give a couple seconds for him. All right, now to uh, begin, and I know he wouldn't want us to be sad here or anything like that, but just to have a good time. Um, our season um, was a pretty successful one this past year. Um, and, you know, I've, again, being the longest tenured person here and seeing so many different groups of young men come in and out of the, door, out of the doors, doorways here um, when we first get them. Uh, some of them may not really believe with some of our philosophies that we as coaches want to instill in our players. Um, a lot of them sometimes, you know, don't want to see eye to eye because we're trying to have them reach certain goals and try to get to, you know, try to attain uh, a certain type of knowledge and also to get from point A to point B. Some of them still probably aren't quite there. Um, as you can see, you know, there's, there's a maturity and there's a process that takes place as, as a student athlete. Um, and at some point, you know, we all get there. I was there at one point and uh, sometimes we don't see the sacrifice. I know every program's a little bit different. Um, our season goes from October all the way to March, um, and within that, within that time, 
It, you're talking, you know, 13-hour days from classes, 9 o'clock in the morning to we don't get out of practice until 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night, depending on, uh, depending on what's happening over at Bishop Conley. And then on top of that, um, if we had an away game or if we were somewhere, we would put ourselves in position, um, you know, probably getting home at 11, 12 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock. So it's really tough on our student athletes. And the sacrifice that all of our student athletes make here is pretty, is pretty valuable to our school. And I think a lot of people may not understand that. And I say it every year um, as I come up to the podium. And every group is a little bit different. And as we really, really, truly appreciate your efforts that you do for us. Because um, you don't have to. Um, and it's really hard to stay disciplined and do the things um, and kind of get out of your own way. Um, and sometimes it's hard for us to get out of our own way. And we ask you guys to uh, sacrifice your time, your family, and everything else. Um, before I begin with uh, um, announcing our, our students, I would like to also give thanks um, to the great people that help our programs um, that are there every day within our school and, and, and also uh, really like take the effort and time for Derek putting the time and effort that he does for our program. Virginia Lehman, who I, I speak to all the time, and she's basically everyone's second mother and getting on top of our guys and making sure they're there um, and where they're supposed to be. To Steve Ozuck supporting our program and being at pretty much every game, whether it's you know 200 miles away or if it's right down the street, um, and and countless people that put the effort in. Um, just tonight's event, uh, we have interns, um, Steph, who's now going to graduate tomorrow, and she put a great effort in behind this uh, program, which is pretty cool. And Andre, and and. The names are endless, all right? There's a lot of people that go into this, all right? Uh, most importantly for myself, my staff, um, I have three guys that are there every step of the way um, when I need something that they are there. This past year, I had a, you know, my fr I never missed anything, and this past year I got a little sick and was in the hospital for about eight days, and my, my three coaches stepped up and did a great job of maintaining our season this year. Um, so I'd like to bring up our coaches right now so they can help with the possession. i like Brian Fernandes. Frank Stevenson. And Josh Rogers. So before I begin um, going with the individual awards, we're gonna talk about our team a little bit. Uh, this past season, we went 18 and eight, um, 11 game win streak. In the first semester, we were six and six. And then in the second semester, we went on an 11-game win streak, which is our best that we ever last, which tied for our best in school history, 11 straight wins going into the playoffs. Um, from the playoffs, we uh, got all the way, we, the Mass State Championship, we got to the final game, um, and, and we lost in the Mass State Championship. And then we went to the regional tournament, which is encompassing all of New England, and we got all the way to the New England final game, where we d picked the worst day in our, our worst day of the year to play our worst game, but I guess it's part of, it happens. Um, but to get to that point, our sophomore class um, in our two years have combined for 37 wins, which is a great accomplishment, um, you know, and they will actually go out um, the winningest class as far as two years in concession together. So that's a huge accomplishment. So what I'll do, um, I'll announce our guys, they'll come up here and then we'll get to the coaches award and to the team MVP, all right? Um, first uh, student athlete that I like to call up is Josh Banks. <laughs> Next uh, student athlete, Jeremiah Ephraim. Jarrell Gomes. Kevin Desire. Mel Miller. Ryan Stopka. Steven Gonzalez. Yeah. 
Dontel Rodriguez. <laughs> Telly Rodriguez. And Josh Nelson. As you can see, imagine dealing with them for five months, all right? Five straight months, so just please bless me as I move forward in my life, all right? <laughs> all right. Phones away. <laughs> uh, Snapchat, yeah, all right. Now as we go, as we move forward, gentlemen, all right. <laughs> As we, move, as we move forward, I want to go over um, our Coach's Award, which is, which is next. Um, when you look at um, a Coach's Award, there's a couple of things that I require, um, which is your GPA has to be a 2.5 or above. Um, you have to be a person that's dedicated to the program. Um, whatever our coaching staff asks, you must make sure that that student athlete is doing what we ask and going above and beyond. Um, this year, um, our Coaches Award winner is a person that, you know, I think is, you know, there's people that you know that are program guys that will be around for a long period of time and people that really value um, what it takes to be a Bayhawk. Um, two years ago, as, this, as he walked in here, you saw the dedication. Um, you saw that even though his personality is through the roof, you kind of tell that this individual was really, really putting himself out there um, and making himself uncomfortable to be comfortable and making everybody feel comfortable by making himself sometimes feel uncomfortable as I look at it. Um, this person this year averaged 13.7 points per game, shot 50% from the field, 37.9% from three, 4.6 re uh, rebounds a game, 2.3 assists, and was 24th in the country in steals. And his GPA just made it at 2.5 GPA. Our coach's award is Josh Nelson. <laughs> um, when it comes down to a uh, team MVP uh, this year, it's um, in our two year in our two year span and where we've where we've come from. Uh, this individual has grown tremendously as a person and as a leader. Um, our first couple of uh, weeks together probably wasn't wasn't seeing eye to eye on some things, and I think over that time, uh, his his maturity and his move his movement toward to be better and to be great um, really showed. Um, this year, um, this individual, it was ninth in the country in scoring, scoring 23.6 points a game, shooting 54% from the field and 42.8% from three. 7.3 uh, rebounds a game, 3.5 assists, was sixth in the country in field goals made at 227, seventh in the country in total points at 613. Um, on top of that, um, this particular year uh, was not only a first team all um, regional player, but also made third team all American, which is the first, we've had uh, other all Americans that were honorable mention, um, but he was the first one to actually make one of the first three teams, which is the first in our school's history, which is a great accomplishment, especially with a lot of the great players that we've had here. Um, so this year's MVP is Jarrell Gomes. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. And I apologize, but trust me, they're harmless. All right. Um, just as we are, as we moving in our first in uh, school and team history, 
Um, this particular year, uh, we've had our first ever 1,000-point scorer, which Jarrell, Jarrell Gomes scored 1,005 points for his career here at Bristol Community College. And in, in honor of that, we wanted to kind of celebrate and give him a commemorative basketball that actually has that actually has a printout on it Again, thank you. When, uh, when we scheduled the, ban the banquet this year, uh, we weren't sure that we were going to run golf or we were going to start the golf program, and uh, so we did. <laughs> so we, we we're in our first season of golf, and uh, we've, we have some, some golfers who can, who can really hit the ball, and uh, they're, they're having some success, and they're actually out at our regional tournament uh, today, so that's why our golf team's not here. So we wish them a lot of luck. I, I, would, I would like to announce the, the award winners, uh, and I'll be very brief. Um, the Coach's Award went to Matthew Murphy. And, <laughs> and the most valuable player is uh, Bo Jacks. Uh, Bo, Bo is finished in the top five in, in all the, the, the tournaments, and, and just so you have a little background on how the golf uh, season works. There's usually you know five or six teams um, at at the golf course together. Uh, it's not just a match play with um, two teams there. So there's there's five different schools usually at these matches uh, with 20 plus golfers, and he's finished in the top five, and he's finished number one uh, actually at our, at our home match. So um, if he if he places um, the way he has been this week at the regional, he'll he'll be uh, at the national tournament in a few weeks. So we wish. <laughs> and uh, finally, uh, we're gonna announce our our athletes of the year, our male and female athletes of the year. Our our 2016, 2015, 2016 female athlete of the year. Comes from our women's soccer program, Jennifer Silva. <laughs> Jen was named the team's most valuable player this season, leading the team in goals scored and points. Jen finished seventh in the region in goals scored on the season, and her results on the field were noticed by the Region 21 Women's Soccer Committee as she was selected to the first team. Once again, your 2015-16 Female Athlete of the Year, Jennifer Silva. Our 2015-16 Male Athlete of the Year. Anybody want to take a guess? Jarrell, Jarrell Gomes. <laughs> Jarrell finished ninth in the country and third in the region in points per game in the 2015-16 season. In his two seasons here, he has scored 1,005 points, including 613 points this season. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Jarrell was named this year's most valuable player. He's a first team all region selection and NJCAA 13 All American. The 2015 16 Male Athlete of the Year, Jarrell Gomes.
And that's going to conclude our awards uh, program for the night. Uh, I do have a couple of announcements. Uh, it was just brought to my attention that on Monday, uh, if any of the students or staff are interested, um, there'll be a celebration of Milton Clement's life in the faculty staff lounge at 3 p.m. Other than that, um, you guys have a great night. I appreciate you coming. And uh, we look forward to a, a great next season. Thank you. <laughs>